Hi, this is Rob, and I'd like to show you today some of the tops that I'm designing for my website, atomictops.com. First of all was a plastic one, and this is HDP plastic. It's the 20 mil, and it's it wasn't a very good design, this one. I have some other ones that spin really, really well. Almost, they don't spin as long as, say, a brass top, but it, uh, they definitely spin as steady. Um, but this one here was something not very good. So, because I want to show you how you learn things, or I learn things anyways, by sometimes not doing things very well. But this one here, I'll try and get a spin on it without it flying off the, the mirror here. Here we go. Oh, uh, well, that's not a great spin, but it shows the idea. If you spin it just right, that will be actually absolutely steady. Um, but I'm having a hard time doing that right now because, you know, when you want something to work, it never does. <laughs> so anyways, there you go. There's the plastic one that I made, one of them. Then I went to this one. This is, uh, you can see it's all chewed up here. Big chunks missing out of the metal. And... Um, like that so but I learned from this one how not what to do <laughs> don't put it don't put it back into a bare metal three jaw chuck on your lathe because it's going to chew it all up it does spin but you can see it wobbles all over the place not good so that was a bit of a learning curve for me this one um, this is a nice little this is nice. There was some things I learned about this. This has a sloping. I want to try and put some more metal on it. This had a, a sloping edge to it, and some of these points were much bigger at the t uh, before I cut them down a bit. This has a a thin neck on it, which I don't like. Um, but it was try things, and it does spin. Whoops! It does spin all right. Um, it's just not, uh, it's not very nice to, f it doesn't feel nice when you spin it. It, it feels too thin. Can't get a, it, there, I thought to myself, if you had s the thinner shaft, you'd be able to, the better it would spin because it'd be very, the center of gravity would be quite low, but it turns out that you, you just, you can't get a good spin on it. It doesn't feel good. So I went from that one to this one. This one is this is my favorite top of all the tops I've made so far. I have other tops, but these are the ones I'm I'm showing here. This one's I like this one because it's it's quite ornate. I know this is gonna be out of focus, but you can see the general idea where it has um where we go there it is. Uh, it has a low center of gravity. This this point is very small. It's so it's quite low to the surface. Um, it has a thin profile this this part here is, is is very thin let me use a pencil so this profile which doesn't want to stay up now there we go nope there that bit there is very thin and you got some nice grooving up here which lo uh, lessens the weight and still gives you a grip i don't want to use uh cross hatch checkering or anything like that because that creates uh, aer aerodynamic drag with the air and slows things down. I'm trying to make everything as aerodynamic dynamic as possible. That's why these are all one piece tops. Um, because anything that's ornamental stuck on it will increase the air drag. Plus, um, if something like, uh, a, a, let's say I had these were ruby bearings or ball bearings or whatever, it sounds really nice and exotic and ceramic bearings, whatever. But what happens when they wear down? How are you going to fix it? Whereas this one, you could put this in a drill with a little bit of paper around it, put it in a drill, and just hold a small little emery cloth over the end of it and sharpen it up again. So it'll last for a long time. You know, you don't go excessive on it, but it'll last for a long time. And you can fix it. There's no shaft here that's press fit into it that will go out of alignment. It's all one piece, so you'll get a better overall lasting top. Um, so, but I'll give you, to show you how, how nice and steady this thing is. Uh, now, yes, it's 
it's wobbling back and forth this way. That's because of how I've dropped it. But you'll notice that the top of it is extremely steady. It's not going back and forth at the top. And eventually, this will find its its place to be. And you'll see it on the other video where it's spinning. I've had this spinning for about 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, and it's a, it, it can be a very steady top. You'll see that on the other video. That it's going around like this is not unbalancing. If it was up here, it'd be wobbling. That's the unbalanced, like you saw this other one here do. It's a very nice top. I'm very happy with that. However, I wanted to make something that could potentially spin even longer. This, don't forget, these are only little 20 mil tops. That's only, you know, three quarters of an inch sort of in width. And it's um, not very high either. See, now it's, it's becoming very steady. See how steady it is? It's moving across the surface, but it's not wobbling. And that will, that would stay for a while. So that was a good design, but I wanted something bigger. So I made this one. So you can see that the depth of the barrel here, the body of the top is much. It doesn't want to stay there. Probably because I set an angle. But anyways, come on there. So that's much, much thicker. The, the, this a little higher at the bottom. And this here, that bit was really big and I carved it down but I don't like this top at all it doesn't spin very well at all so you'll see that I, I, I can't even get it to work let's take that off uh, oh there it spins a miracle because <laughs> I don't know how that worked so it, it, it sort of spins but it's a horrible top and I can't really reverse engineer these things I can't fix them because I don't have the right tooling for my lathe right now which is just more expense so i don't have that right now so when i get it there you go so that one wasn't working so i made this one now this one which you'll see another video for for timing goes over three minutes something it's a bit scruffed up because again i did i did the put it in the lathe and i tried to fix it and i scruffed the crap out of it like i did on that one over there but it wasn't too bad and i was able to salvage it to the point where balancing wise it's a good top it doesn't have any extra here like say this one does over here it doesn't have any extra here and it's just a simple straightforward top there was some grooving in it but me fixing it try to fix it here because i'd smashed it up pretty badly um took most of the grooving out but as you can see it does spin quite nice now this top by the way is not balanced properly so it will wobble now you see it's doing that like the other one does but this will never never totally steady up it'll always wobble back and forth just just a just a little bit like like that it'll wobble like this all the time but it'll still spin for over three minutes you can see the other video so anyways the point is that these aren't for sale tops these aren't production tops or anything like that these are prototypes for me to learn mm, dynamics of center of gravity the, how thick handles should be how they feel like this this really feels nice i like i like the feel of this one um so i can take i use my micrometer i can see how thick that is well, that's that and what it's going to come down to is to get a good feeling of the handle. Like I said, this one is, I really like that one. Look at how steady that was. Really, really nice spin. Not very fast, but it's a nice spin. And so it's going to come down to getting the, the thickness of the diameter of the handle, how high it can be, how deep the grooves have to be, and how high the point has to be off the off the surface all these kind of things will go into hopefully designing something which is nice and also really works well like this one this is a nice top maybe i'll design that very closely too but it's given me some ideas so that i can make bigger tops which work as good as this one okay thank you very much uh, for watching this long video and it's just a journey.
Uh, thank you for being part of it. All the best. Bye-bye.